way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori and you are watching. Hi everybody. As you can tell by my title, I got a couple books from Amazon and I got my book of the month. Sorry, I'm a little tired. <laughs> I'm going to start trying to get back to getting videos up for you guys. Even though I don't, like I said in my other video that I just did, I'm not sure if I'm going to be um, doing a wrap up this month. Uh, it's just been crazy. So, I, I mean, for last month, I should say. So, yeah, I might just show you guys like the books I read and just not even like talk about them. Just show them to you guys, maybe in one of my vlogs that I do I don't know we'll figure it out otherwise I'm just going to not worry about it it just yeah we'll see but anyways let's get started on this one yay <laughs> so I first book I got is called The Companion by Katie Allender La Allender I think it is it says the tagline is lies Lies pile up and then they bury you. And then on the back it says, Life with my new family is simple. There are rooms I don't enter, questions I don't ask, and secrets I can never tell. That is neat. Like, isn't it? Oh, yes. All I know is that her family was murdered, I think, or killed in an accident, maybe? Yeah, a horrible accident. And... She has, like, night terrors where she wakes up every night, you know. And then she um, is chosen by a prestige family to live at their remote country estate. And then, of course, there's secrets and stuff. It's supposed to be really creepy. And a lot, like I said, a lot of secrets to uncover and stuff. It just sounds really good. So that's the one. And look at this. Like, wow. That's creepy. <laughs> definitely gonna be a good book this one you would have already saw if you guys watch my uh tbr for now i forgot the name of our book the name of our tv i mean the name of our readathon that starts monday step or fall into reads fall into read step into fall i don't know <laughs> no into summer step into reads or into summer oh gosh I'm totally butchering it. Yeah. End of summer, end of summer, step into fall. Yes. <laughs> you would have saw me mention this for one of the um, prompts. And that is Set Fire to the Gods by Sarah Roshka, or Roshke and Kristen Simmons. And I know this has to do with gladiators and the gods and, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of neat stuff. I just love this cover. And look at you guys know me, maps, 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 maps. And down here it says, the world of the gods. <laughs> I love that. It just looks like this. That's all it looks like. But, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this one. And the um, there's Ash, which is the girl, and Maddox, who's the guy. I'll read it to you what it says. Ash is descend a descendant from a long line of gladiators and knows the brutal nature of war firsthand. But after her mother dies in the arena, she vows to take action against her fire god, whose temper has stopped, I mean, stripped her country of its resources. Maddox grew up fighting on the streets to pay his family's taxes, but he hides a dangerous secret. He doesn't have the earth god's power like his opponents. His elemental gift is something else, something that hasn't been seen in centuries. Ooh, I'm curious about what that is. It says when an uh, an attempted when an attempted revenge plot goes dangerously wrong, Ash inadequately throws the two gods into conflicts that can be settled. I mean, that can only be settled by a deadly, lavish gladiator game. Landed Maddox directly in Ash's path. She realized that his powers are the weapon. Her rebellion needs, but Maddox won't jeopardize his family regardless of how intrigued he is by the beautiful warrior. But when the gods forest Maddox's hand, he and Ash uncover an ancient war that will threaten more than immortality. It would unravel the world. Ooh, that sounds really good. 
I was so excited for this. And then I only got one book this month from Book of the Month because I have to be careful on money I spend right now. So, yeah. But I'm really excited. I gotta clean up my book room again. I'm always making it a mess. It takes me like a week to clean it up. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know where my um, my um, cutter thing is. So I have to use every, do everything by hand. The bookmark is until we read again, it says. Book of the month. And the book I got, first, everybody always talks about how much they love this guy. And I've never read a book by him. And this one looked really intriguing to me. It's by Fred Frederick Backman. And it's called Anxious People. I think they're like, um, like, like there was attempted robbery. And the robber goes to this um, open house where um, it's an apartment, I think. And it's an open house. And... He takes the people there hostage. And I don't know what really else happens. I like the yellowish color in it. And of course, it just has the book of the month thing. It doesn't have it on this on here, though. So I think some of them have it here, don't they? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Or is, it on, or is it on here that they usually have it? I can't remember, but it's not there. <laughs> But anyways, it looks really good. But I'll read to you exactly what it says. It says a pro prognant, how do you say that word, charming novel about a crime that never took place. Um, a world B bank robber who disappears into thin air and eight extremely anxious strangers who find they have more in common than they ever imagined. It says looking at real estate isn't usually a life or death situation. But an apartment open house becomes just that when a failed bank robber bursts in and takes a group of strangers hostage. The captives include a recently retired couple who relentlessly hunt down fixer-uppers to avoid the painful truth that they painful truth that they can't fix up their own marriage. There's a wealthy banker who has been too busy making money to care about any one else and a young couple who are about to have their first child but can't seem to agree on anything from where they want to live to how they meet how they met in the first place add to the mix an 87 year old woman who has lived long enough not to be afraid of someone waving a gun in her face a flustered but still ready to make a deal real estate agent and a mysterious man who locked himself into the apartment's only bathroom and you'll never, and you've got the worst, I mean, group of hostages in the world. <laughs> you get it any. says, each of them carries a lifetime of grievance, hurts, secrets, and passions that are ready to boil over. None of them is entirely who they appear to be. And all of them, the bank robber included, desperately crave some sort of rescue. As the authorities and the media surround the premises, these reluctant allies will reveal surprising truths about themselves and set in motion a chain of events so unexpected that they even, I mean, that even they could hardly explain what happens next. Humorous, compassionate, and wise, anxious people is an ingeniously, ing something like that, constructed story about the enduring power of friendship, forgiveness, and hope. The things that save us, even in the most anxious of times. Sounds good. There's the author. And yeah, I know he's read. A, he wrote a lot of book and I books, and I know like J Julie from Pages of Pen and some other people really love his books, and they say they're always sad. Like he read, he wrote a man called Over or something like that, and I forget the other ones. But this will be my first book buy him and then if I like it I'm going to get some of the other books because I'm really excited about it. Let me show you if they show you. Let me show you. This is Kate. This is what Katie looks like. That's what she looks like. And of course that's Sarah 
the one with the long hair, and Kim, is that what her name is? Kristen Simmons, with the shorter hair. So, yeah. These are the three books. Yay, yay. <laughs> but anyways, um, either today or tomorrow, Robin is going to take over for a video because she wants to show you some books. It might be today, but it might be tomorrow because she's getting a book today and she got a couple books yesterday, but she also tomorrow might get a couple of books. So I don't know if she's going to do part of it to take over tonight for a little bit and then again tomorrow or if she's going to do it all in one video. <coughs> Excuse me. So either tonight or tomorrow you guys will be seeing a video from her. So, yeah. all right, I'll talk to you guys all later. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, to think about subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is up for your viewing pleasure. And stay tuned for Robin to have some fun sometime in the next couple of days. And if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Have a happy weekend and a happy Saturday. Bye!